things are really starting to heat up out on the water, and sometimes when you're out there, you may need assistance, and hopefully you get it just like some of the people we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Now, many of you may have heard that old adage, there's no such thing as a bad day of fishing, but this first story will feature some fishermen from Indonesia who may disagree with that. As this was the scene off the coast of Indonesia, as the fishing vessel seen here had mechanical failure and was being towed back into port by another vessel, when all of a sudden they crossed the path of this cargo ship that didn't happen to see the tow line. There were 15 fishermen on board this vessel at the time of the incident. Unfortunately, this vessel began immediately taking on water after this encounter, and all 15 had to jump into the ocean to try and save themselves. All 15 of the fishermen were successfully rescued without injury. Unfortunately, this vessel didn't have the same fate and wound up sinking just a few moments later. Our next story is going to talk about the law. This has been in law for quite some time now. This is not a new one, but for whatever reason, we still keep seeing these videos where people get ejected from vessels not wearing the safety kill switch lanyard. And that happens to be the scene here where up in Marshfield, Massachusetts this past week, two young gentlemen were out enjoying a day on their boat club's boat when all of a sudden they got ejected from the vessel and the vessel began spinning out of control. Fortunately, there were some good Samaritan boaters in the area, saw the two kids in the water and were able to go pluck them from the water before the vessel came into contact with them. Sito was quickly on the scene and they were able to entangle the prop to slow down the boat. Then they grabbed a boat hook and were able to actually catch the safety kill switch lanyard with it, disabling the vessel before any injuries to property or man could occur. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us up to Michigan, where four people had to be rescued this past week when their vessel became disabled out on the water, began taking on water, and sank in the entrance to Lake Michigan in the Black River Channel. Early reports indicate that the vessel had mechanical failure and had became swamped as it entered the channel. People from the pier claim they could see them feverishly trying to bail water out of the vessel as they came in. But as coming in, the engine stalled and that was it. This boat just continued to take on water and the next thing they knew the four occupants of the vessel were in the water as well. Fortunately for this crew there was a good Samaritan vessel in the channel during the time of this incident and they were quickly able to throw life jackets out to the people who were in the water and they actually were able to rescue three of the four occupants of the boat and get them into their vessel. The fourth person on board the vessel chose to take a different path and actually swam directly toward the pier where bystanders who were sitting there watching this incident unfold were able to successfully reach down and pull her up on a dry land. As you can tell from these images, the whole incident unfolded exceptionally fast, and it doesn't appear anybody on board the sinking vessel had time to even grab a life jacket, but fortunately with that good Samaritan vessel there, everybody was able to be rescued without injury. Our next story is going to take us up to Alaska, and this is another one that unfolded quickly. When the Coast Guard received a report that the 37-foot trawler Miss Amy was radioing for help after it began to take on water in the vicinity of Porcupine Rock, the Coast Guard immediately issued an urgent marine information broadcast asking for help from any vessels in the area. Fortunately for this crew, there were two Good Samaritan boats that happened to be able to respond almost immediately to the scene. The two vessels that responded, the Cirrus and the Lucky Strike, were able to pull the Miss Amy's crew from the freezing Alaskan waters, which was a very fortunate event that these two Good Samaritan vessels happened to be so close to the scene, because the reason they were pulling them from the water, well, the Miss Amy sunk only moments after the radio call was made. The vessels sank in 150 foot of water approximately 50 miles northwest of Sitka. When the air station Sitka rescue helicopter arrived to the scene, as can be seen in these images here, they found all three crew members safely aboard the other vessels, but they did have to airlift these guys back out to take them back to the mainland so they could get checked out at the local medical facility and treated for hypothermia symptoms. The Coast Guard later in a press release mentioned how lucky these fishermen were. The fact that they had these Good Samaritan vessels so close by probably saved their lives. Everything unfolded so fast. Just within minutes of the call even coming in, their vessel had sank and they were in the water. There's almost no way help could have gotten to them quick enough without those Good Samaritan vessels being there. Fortunately, the Coast Guard was able to successfully get these crews back to mainland and everything turned out for the best. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out in your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know and you might see your stories over over here. Just like Allison Hurst, Johnny Pazurski, Joseph Kramer, Tim Stevenson, and Diesel1946 did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.